Over the next few days, there's a chance the U.S. Federal Reserve's acquisition of XRP and the Ripple system could cause a dramatic upheaval in the financial landscape. This action might involve preventing any retail XRP purchases and using Ripple's Labs technologies to replace the current financial system. Recent steps taken by Ripple, particularly their large XRP buyback, demonstrate the rapidity of these developments. A report from just a day ago stated that Ripple Labs has started a buyback of nearly 1 billion XRP from its current supply. This is a big step that demonstrates Ripple's dedication to solidifying and bolstering XRP's position. In the following section of our film, I'll reveal the estimated price at which the U.S. Federal Reserve may contemplate repurchasing XRP. Evidence strongly supports these assertions. Keep checking back as we go into the specifics of this possibly revolutionary development in the fields of global finance and cryptocurrencies. Please give me a big thumbs up before we dive in. Click the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to become a part of our community. The U.S. Federal Reserve's suggestion to perhaps acquire XRP and work closely with Ripple Labs is becoming seen as a significant move in the financial industry. The announcement has received a lot of attention. The recent announcement by Ripple Labs about their plan to buy back almost 1 billion XRP from the market has further fueled speculation about a potential collaboration between the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs. However, for those who have been following the developments closely, this news may not come as a surprise, as the Federal Reserve has previously indicated its interest in this area, and there are even articles. Many see the move as a clear indication of a major shift in the market. Some analysts, like those from Blood or CPS, suggest that this could be a strong signal for a surge in XRP's value. Includes one from Google that talks about the Federal Reserve's plan to use Ripple's XRP as a worldwide payment method. This plan also incorporates a Ripple buyback program. Through this program, Ripple aims to repurchase XRP as part of its broader strategy. This seems to be an attempt to move XRP from individual investors to banks and institutional investors, solidifying its value and utility in the hands of large financial actors. Ripple's actions and the potential involvement of the Federal Reserve in modifying the XRP environment, along with the close relationship between the Federal Reserve and Ripple Labs, have increasingly underscored a significant partnership. Close ties between these two entities suggest that XRP may eventually be further integrated into the mainstream financial system. One article even headlined, Federal Reserve collaborates with Ripple XRP for integration suggests that XRP may reach as high as $110,000. This announcement marked a significant shift in my perspective, leading me to delve deeply into research and uncover an intriguing concept regarding buybacks. Among the most persuasive theories in the crypto of the modern world, with its proposals, is a wonderful fit for the current situation. The full scope of the Val Hills buyback theory is even more audacious. It suggests that governments should buy back the entire supply of XRP from retail investors at a predetermined price, as articulated by Vanley of Val Hill Capital, which is an astounding $37,500 per token. This is in response to the managing director of Val Hill Capital urging the Federal Reserve to consider repurchasing XRP at a staggering $35,000 per token. We calculate this amount by dividing the total assets of XRP by the total world wealth. Although the price of this recording is $60 due to supply, this idea suggests that XRP has a far higher potential worth than merely $35,000. As of right now, the estimate is $50,000. Alright, guys, let's switch gears and speak about today's video. This is a huge step and an indication of the increasing awareness of XRP's potential in the financial world. Therefore, in this segment of our film, you will witness the updates as they happen. We'll play a video that goes more into this notion and how it affects investors in XRP. The price projection of $50,000 to $60,000 for XRP is a compelling argument, especially given its consistency with existing reports from several reliable news sources. Forbes, a reputable business news source renowned for its verified facts, once released a piece suggesting that XRP may replace Bitcoin and hit 59,472. 
Despite its swift removal, the article created a significant stir. There was a significant amount of speculation about the reasons behind its publication, especially considering Microsoft's Bing. Google's chatbot, GPT, instead of a round value of $660,000, figure 59, for se 2 specificity adds to the mystery that is resonating with the study of multiple top specialists. There's more to the story, but these experts believe that XRP can overtake Bitcoin in value and even reach $60,000. The SNP alone is expected to permit about $1.2 quadrillion in the derivatives market, according to the research, which means that an XRP price of about $10,000 is required. The recent entry of Ripple into global swaps and futures in collaboration with financial giants such as JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, BlackRock, and others, Ripple has made a calculated strategic move to support these enormous volumes in the derivatives market. However, even these figures could be subject to change. According to conservative estimates and statistics, over 19 central banks have confirmed buying XRP, confirming its potential for a sharp increase in value. It is astounding to learn that central banks have bought XRP for 9.4 billion euros. However, this is only the beginning for the world, since roughly 30 nations are currently seeking to establish their own central banks. 45 nations, serving 19 central banks, have already invested in XRP through digital currencies directly listed on the XRP ledger, indicating potential future uses for the XRP ledger. Each nation could potentially facilitate over $1.20 quadrillion in monthly transactions by using the XRP ledger. Expand that to 20, 30, or even 40. Countries, all of which are processed through the XRP ledger, which is larger in number than what has previously been observed or discussed. Although this situation seems improbable, it is based on fact. Talks have already begun at the Federal Reserve. With Ripple Labs to enable and repurchase XRP, mainly to surpass the British nations. Brazil, Russia, and India, the U.S. is actively interacting with Ripple because they don't want to lose out to China and South Africa in the bidding war. The Ripple Net system is notoriously expensive. The system is known for its privacy, decentralization, and effectiveness. It's important to note that most British countries have already become formal partners of Ripple Labs, demonstrating their haste to implement the XRP ledger and the Ripple Net system. The Federal Reserve employs similar measures. The Federal Reserve is confirming the supremacy of technology, and the need for XRP is growing. The need for XRP is growing, as is its expanding significance as a major participant in the worldwide market. The value of the financial system must increase, and we are already seeing the start of these buybacks in the future. I anticipate a rise in buybacks. Activities, not just by Ripple, but by many other financial institutions as well, all of which are looking to purchase XRP on a larger scale. Keep in mind that I am not a licensed financial advisor and that the information provided in these videos is only meant to be entertaining. Instead, I always advise viewers to do their own research and speak with experts. Before making any financial decisions, I always advise viewers to conduct their own research and consult with experts. I appreciate you watching, and if you liked the video, please click the like button. Also, don't forget to enable the alerts so you can be the first to know when I upload new content. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.